Books are expensive. The books are crazy. Working to obtain her degree in psychology from SOU's Higher Education Center, Stacia Hackman is concerned about how much she's paying. For a course, I pay about $400, and it's steep. Um, for community college especially. She says her biggest fear about furthering her education isn't just about the cost to graduate. I guess knowing that it's not it's not really going to pay off as much as I want it to. They're uncertain about the kind of job prospects that they'll have coming out. But that could soon change and the man to do it is Ben Cannon, the newly appointed executive director of the Higher Education Coordinating Commission. It will decide how many resources from the out of the state's pot that it allocates for, for higher ed, how many resources go to Southern versus Eastern. And I think what you'll see from this commission is an increasing attention to allocating those resources on the basis of student outcomes, not just student enrollment, not just how, how many students show up, but how they're being helped to complete the course of study that they came to that campus for. Cannon says getting money out of lawmakers will mean showing them what he described as the public's appetite for higher ed, stressing the economic importance of furthering one's education. I think in an era where that return on investment for the student is increasingly important because as the investment on the student's part goes up, the state has an obligation, policymakers have an obligation to help try to create incentives for them to be especially well served. For students like Stacia Hackman, it sounds like a better deal than what she's getting right now. Oh, I would be ecstatic if tuition costs went down. Um, it would definitely make it easier to take more classes. She says she's waiting for that day when she can turn more money into more class time. Eventually, a new career. Travis Cook, NBC5 News.